What's up you guys, it's Rose for Techies here, and today I'm going to show you how to create an Apple style search bar for your HTML website. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the um, the actual search bar on, on Apple's uh, website. So if you go to apple.com, you can see in the top right hand corner, uh, this is their search bar. And um, as you can see, that uh, this is basically how it looks, and if you click it, then it extends. And it's it's very simple, but it's also very nice. So we're gonna create the same style of uh, we're gonna create the same style of search bar in for our, for our HTML document or website. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is create a new um, HTML uh, basically document, and I already have the document set up. And if you want to learn how to set it up, just click this link right here. I'm not gonna go over it in this video because I already went over it in a different video. So again, just you know, click this link right here. And I'll be sure to include all links in the description below. Okay, so now I'm just going to go over basically the tags I already have set up. So the first tag is going to be the HTML tag, letting the computer know that uh, this is an HTML document. And then after that, we're going to have a CSS code. So in order to do CSS in an HTML document, you do open bracket style space type equals quote unquote text forward slash CSS. Then you end the tag. And now this is where we're going to... Um, this is basically where we're gonna have our, uh, whoops. This is where we're gonna have our actual search bar. This right here, the div class equal search. That's where we're actually gonna have our search bar, um, code so that the search bar, is, the search bar is visible. And in CSS right here, that's when we're gonna make it look all pretty like the Apple one. But the first thing I like to do is actually get the code done with with for the search bar, and we could go to how it looks and stuff later. So um, first thing on the agenda today will be to actually create a search bar. And I also have another tutorial on creating the search bar, but I'm just gonna go over that again in this video so you guys don't have to switch between videos too often. Um, <clears throat> so, <coughs> excuse me. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is begin bracket IMG for image space width equals quote unquote one. And then the height is the same thing. And I'm gonna go pretty fast through this because again I already went through this in a different video. If you want to see me actually go in depth with this, then um, click that video link right here. And a after the image height and width, we're gonna do a form. So it's form space action um, equals quote unquote. This is gonna be the name of your domain or website. I'm just gonna do example.com because I don't have a domain at this point. And if you ha actually had a web page, you do slash search.php or whatever you named your, whatever you want to name the page that you're going to have the search bar on. And after the form, whoops, after, yeah, after the form, you're going to have open bracket input space type equals quote unquote text. And for the name, we're going to do quote unquote search. And again, uh, I, I go over all these tags and what they mean in a different video, so if you feel like you're not understanding it and you actually like needs need some help, then uh, uh, click click uh, sorry click the link to the other video because I actually go in depth with with it there. And if you're really new to just creating uh, HTML documents, then I suggest you view it um, because you don't you won't be lost. And so as you can see in our div class, I named I named this whole piece of code, I named it search by typing in div class equals search. And by giving that part of the code a name, I can go, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. I can go into the CSS and use that name to edit, to edit the piece of code, the line of code. So let's say I wanna, um, I wanna use that name in the CSS, I would just type in period search space uh whatever uh bracket yeah and then for the width this will be the actual width of the search bar we're gonna do colon 300 px for pixels obviously and then colon or semicolon sorry and then for the margin um I, my margin is off because I, i'm gonna have the search bar be in the middle of the page so that it's easier for you guys to view um but uh again you know well not again but obviously if within with different uh Web pages and such, your margin is going to be different, so keep that in mind as we're doing this. Uh, this is just my margin, so if you want to use it, that's fine. And what the auto means is that the computer will automatically 
align the margin to uh, to the specific web page. And then for next, we're going to do text uh, dash line, and that's going to be left for when people type in the search bar. You want it to be the specific. Uh, you want it to if you want it to be centered left or right, or if you guys would be right or left or whatever. If you want it to be centered left or right, that's what you would do for text line. But before we do that, um, I like to do this at the beginning of the code, but you don't have to because code isn't read in a specific order. It's just basically how you put it. Um, before that, I'm going to put this as header, comma space section, comma space footer, comma aside, nav for navigation, article. Figure. If you don't know what I'm talking about right now, I'm going to go over it in just a couple seconds. So just type what I'm typing and I'll go over what all this is actually for. Tab display uh, colon space block semicolon and bracket. So what this whole piece of code right here does is it, um, <clears throat> excuse me, what this whole piece of code right here does is it actually takes all the specific um, things on your web page. I, I don't like using the word things, but things would include your header, your section, your footer, your aside, your navigation, all that stuff. Um, for the display, I want mine to be a block. So when you're creating a web page, uh, when you actually get, like, get into the learning code, you're going to notice when you um, create your web page, sometimes it may be clustered and not together or uniform by doing your display equals uh, display is block. It's going to make everything just align and uh, basically in a really nice order like a block <laughs> so um, that's not that important since I'm just creating the search bar but I thought you guys would just like to know that <clears throat> and after this period search we're gonna create a hover effect and for the hover effect what we're gonna do is type in period search colon hover whoops if I could spell it right hover comma space period search period cur current and whoops sorry I would I didn't mean to uh, use this right here make sure that's a colon and then we're gonna do space uh, begin bracket and now for the width we're gonna do colon space <clears throat> 300 pixels and this isn't necessary right here because right here I'm just putting that um, this is when you don't hover over or if you don't focus on the search button this is just how it is by default but if you hover over it then you see the width changes to 300 pixels but you're not gonna see anything because the original width is 300 pixels again I just included this so that you guys know how to type in hover effects and just how to change the width of the search bar and um, so for the next one we're gonna type in input space um oops that bracket the bracket type is going to be text quote unquote and then end bracket space that and then for the background background can't spell colon url in parentheses so basically what this background space URL is, is um, it, this tells the computer what image to use in the search bar. And I'm going to include, I'm going to try to remember to include um, the images that I use in the link in the description and basically how to use the image and um, how to get the website address for the images. You go to your, uh, you go to your uh, internet browser, such as Safari or Hotmail, you go to file, open, open that image get the text from the address, right click, copy, and then you would paste that here. Um, but I already have this in a different, I already have this in a different, um, how do you say it? I already have this in a different document, so I'm going to just use this actually. And so you can um, just, I'll just download it and again, uh, just do what I said. And so that's going to be my background URL. And now I just close it, and it's going to be space no repeat so that the computer doesn't repeat it. 
and then this is going to tell, tell the computer how big the image should be. It's going to be 8 pixels uh, by 3 pixels, and then uh, the color number, three, 4 for 4, sorry, and then semicolon. And after that, the border is going to be uh, 0 for none. Oops, none. Uh, semicolon, enter, and this is the font of the uh, of the words inside of the search bar and I'm just gonna have it be bold at 11 pixels if you want the font to be bigger just change the pixels and Arial and this is the font type Helvetica and Sans Serif and Sans Serif and basically I have more than one font here because having more than one font different website addresses or different website applications such as Safari or yeah website browsers they use different types of font so one one um one website ad uh, one website application may use like different fonts than others one may read Arial and one may not so that's why it's good to include more than one or you know just a couple so that if people are accessing accessing it sorry from different things such as Google Chrome or something that the font actually works in that internet browser and now for the color it's gonna be seven 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 and then colon width is gonna be one whoops colon width is gonna be 150 px for pixels and now the heads can be 22 px for pixels and now this is padding and what the padding does is it creates just a little room around the search bar of of basically just background image and this is used a lot if you want to make make it look better and uh, I already have mine to specific to a specific uh, orientation so it may be different for you guys but I uh, just type in what I'm typing and you can always change it later 16 px and 35 px and there's actually a code to how you're doing these different numbers. Like one is for like, I'm pretty sure this one's for top, bottom, left, right, or something like that. Don't, don't think it's that. I'm, I just believe that the first number's top, uh, that one's bottom, and then left and right. But I'm not really sure on that 